What's up guys, it's Dana. It feels like just last week I made a video about my first week in Stardew Valley and time really flies in this game. There's such a weird concept of time. It's like if in real life it was 60 seconds, it's really like two hours in the game. Anyway, I'm almost at the end of winter season in the first year, so I wanted to give my year one update. If you watched my last video, you'll know that this is my first time playing video games ever. So year one in Stardew Valley was a ton of ups and downs. Since I went into the game not knowing anything, I had no idea what to expect. So my first week or two in the game, it was bad. Like I was still getting the hang of things. I didn't really understand what the point of certain things was. Like what's the point of making relationships with people? What's the point of going into the mines? Like I didn't really grasp all the different parts of Stardew Valley and there's really a lot to the game. Like at first it kind of seems like, oh, it's a nice friendly farming game, but there's so much more to it. So let's start with winter. It's so weird that all of a sudden you've been farming, you're, you're playing a farming game, you've been farming this whole time, and then all of a sudden winter hits and you can't farm. There's literally no farming in the winter. Unless you come across these secret seeds that can grow, I think they're called like powder puff melons or something like that, there's no farming. So I'm like, uh-oh. That was my favorite part about spring, summer, fall, is like, it's so fun to farm. And if you watch my last video, you will know I planted way too many crops and I couldn't, it, like it took me all day to water them basically. So I was like praying every time it rained, I was like, thank goodness it's raining because the rainy days you don't have to water. But in winter, no farming. So I didn't know what I was gonna do. I guess it was a blessing in disguise because it forced me out of my comfort zone in the game. I had to mine, I had to fish more. And then I got a better sword for the mines. I got a better fishing rod. So it kind of upped my skills in that sense in other areas. In my last video, I was like, I don't get the point of having relationships. And some of my viewers commented, this is the reason, like you do need to make these relationships. You need to grow the hearts or whatever to have a better relationship with people because they'll help you through the game. They'll give you recipes, they'll give you gifts and things like that. So there actually is a point. That was so helpful to know. So winter's actually a good time to do that because there's nothing better to do. Two of the most exciting quests for me was one was in fall and it was like the creepy Halloween maze one. I needed quite a bit of help on that one, but I finally got it. Then in the winter, it was the scary, creepy ghost one. I think you might get that in an earlier season, but it took me so long to find the ghost that it was just like, I ended up finding it at the end of year one. Good thing there's a lot of people who made videos about this or else I don't know if I would have solved any quests, except for the easy ones where Robin needs hardwood, those are fine. Some of my biggest challenges in year one really revolved around not understanding the game well enough. It took me forever to do the quest to find Lewis's shorts. Turns out you just need to be good friends with Marnie. Another quest where I'm still stuck is Pam needs a pale ale and you need keg and hops to make a pale ale. You can make a keg, but you have to grow hops and it has to be a certain season. So I happened to not do that during the season it has to be. I think it's summer and now it's winter and I can't do that quest. So it's still sitting in my quest journal or whatever and I can't do it until next year. I have to do that in year two or it's gonna bug me that it's still sitting there. Another one of my challenges is at the end of every season all your plants die. So I had no idea this was coming so I'm planting you know every day up until the end of spring and all of a sudden all my crops die the first day of summer. I was pissed because farming in the beginning farming was my favorite part of the game because I was so bad at fishing. I'm still pretty bad and I was so bad at mining and I just didn't like mining like it was so stressful to go into the mines and like fight these scary whatever slimes and monsters and then there's like bats flying at you it just wasn't why i signed up for the game signed up because it's supposed to be this like calm and chill farming game so anyway I, yeah, I was just planting my crops and all of a sudden they're dead. So at least now I know that they die. You can see on the seeds how many days this takes to grow. Every season is 28 days, I think. So if you know you're about to plant something that like takes four days, don't plant it after like the 24th day in the month. Now I know. Now it wasn't all bad. I've honestly been having a lot of fun learning about this game. Every quest you do is some kind of little sense of accomplishment, even if it's something simple like, Robin needs hardwood or Emily needs an iron bar. It still makes you feel like you're growing or like achieving something in the game. 
And completing a community center bundle is so rewarding. Like those are very hard to do. It's hard to come across those resources or those foods or whatever. And once you do, it's very exciting. Looking back on year one, there's definitely a lot of stuff I wish I knew. Like if you make relationships with people, you'll get cool stuff. And if you go down deeper, deeper into the mines, you get cooler and better working swords and bats and things like that. All right, so what's the plan for year two? I have to finish the Pam Needs a Pale Ale quest, and I'm gonna focus on building relationships. I didn't know until very, very recently that it, you need to make relationships and awesome things will happen to you. You'll get cool stuff, so I'm definitely gonna work on that this year. Another thing I'm doing in year two, because I accidentally planted way too many crops in year one, is I'm only gonna plant crops if I have a sprinkler to water them. Because it takes half your day to water plants if you plant too many of them. That's an upgrade for year two. What about you? If you've played through year one or even year two of Stardew Valley, let me know your tips. What you learned, what you wish you've known, I'm definitely open to tips. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next Stardew Valley update. Bye.